Go to Legion as we're here like always. And we got the Chadwick Bozeman tribute. Uh, I wasn't going to do it right away just because, you know, why? Why? I don't know. To do it right away would have been more like, I don't know, fishing for views, I guess, for, you know, kind of capitalizing on it in a way. It's been, it's been a week. Um, I would have done it a little sooner. I would have waited at least a couple of days. You know, you also want to stay relevant. You also want to be a part of it when everyone else figures it out too. And you're like, oh my God, you know, somebody's gone. And you kind of want to be a part of the communal, like, uh, I watched his movies. I liked them. I did this. You know, this this was my thing. Um, but I ended up waiting those few days. Plus, I had some uh, YouTube crap. That was going on for whatever reason, you know. Uh, it was completely side note, you know. They just some certain things were unclicked, and I had to, you know, actually have them send me mail and get things figured out why they were doing this to my channel. Nothing super crazy. It's all fixed now, and I'm really happy about it. And it's a weight off my shoulders. Um, but that's kind of why I took an extended time not doing this. So because I didn't make any videos for the last couple of days. And I thought, eh, you know what, when I come back, I definitely want to check out, first and foremost, the Chadwick thing. Um, it's crazy, man. In his 40s, so young, uh, and cancer of all things. And that's just, it's it's unfortunate. Um, with that, let's just get into it, check it out, see what this is all about. I want to, I'm, I'm excited to see the, uh, the tribute. I haven't seen every movie he's been in. You know, I wasn't like this diehard fan, but, you know, I I watched him, right? It, the interviews he did and the things like, it wasn't always about the movies. It was always about, he, he was just interesting and, and cool to listen to explain his point of views on stuff. So that's, that's kind of where I was at. But let's go. Know the Wakanda. Let's get to see the stuff that got him to Wakanda. Forty-two and all that. I mean, it was Chadwick just... Boseman's performance in Forty-two that really made us take a second look. There is there is such an honor and dignity to the way that he played Jackie Robinson that we knew we needed for the character of T'Challa, the Prince of Wakanda. He played a good trick, didn't he? Chadwick Arrogant. is an amazing actor and we thought would fit perfectly with the MCU. Black Panther himself, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> Chadwick, you know, he has a lot of uh, depth. It was amazing as an audience member to you know, to look into his eyes and see what's going on. We must find a way he was to good, look man. after one another as if we were one single tribe. A lot of the things about the character are also true about Chad. He's very knowledgeable. He's an athlete, you know, martial artist. He's had a lot of experience playing roles that come with a lot of weight, you know? So I think he has a, he has a person, he has a guy, has a lot of, has, has a lot of weight to him. I think he brings all of that that stuff to the role, but not to mention that he's incredibly, you know, incredibly gifted as an actor and as a performer, and also as a storyteller in his own right. I am not king of all people. I am king of Wakanda. And it is my responsibility to make sure our people are safe. Because he is so prepared as an actor, and because his character is sort of flawless on set, it forced the other actors who had scenes with him to kind of raise their game and go, okay, this guy is not taking anything for granted. He's really leaving it all out there. So we have to keep up with him. What does it? Chadwick bring to the character. I mean, he's regal and grounded, and he brings a gravitas to it. So all of this feeds his T'Challa, and uh, I think he wore the crown with dignity. Ibombe! 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 I've known him since I was about like 17, so I've known him for a really long time um, back in New York. He did the work, obviously. You know, I just think he did an incredible job being true to the, to the character. I had a great time with Chadwick, just warmth and camaraderie. 
came into it, of course, with a great deal of respect for his previous work. So when I looked at him with proud eyes, you know, they were as mother and, and also as, as comrade and colleague and Angela. It is your time to be king. I mean, Chadwick is just a powerhouse. He really is so talented. Every single movie he's made, there's, there's kind of this internal, almost nobility. The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for generations. He's such a soulful actor and um, so professional, so present. He really gives so much to the other person, and he's awesome in his presence on set. Some of these seem like they're during the movie shooting. That maybe things I haven't seen before. I was kind of hoping there'd be some stuff, uh, like the um, the girl that played his sister in, in, in Wakanda, uh, Black Panther. That seemed like it was something later. Yeah. I think makes it kind of raises the stakes a little bit for everybody. Chadwick is a, he's a really smart, interesting, dynamic guy. And I think he was hey. not overwhelmed, but very. Oh, that's a scene right there. Oh, that's just. He was not. Oh, that that's something right there. Oh, man. <sighs> Yeah. Overwhelmed, but very surprised and somewhat taken aback by the amount of love. It ceased to become just about how well he inhabited the role and all that stuff. It's become part of our culture just as a symbol. This welcome is, is one of the most amazing things I've ever experienced. It's fun to watch just what it means to people. At times, like I, in my head, I'll be like, well, what does this do for the world? Like, actually, what is it? You know, is it actually valuable in, in this climate? And I have to say, yes, it actually is. Not because it, it makes people escape. I think when done right, um, it gives people hope. I found that it means a lot. That's, uh, there it is. That's, that's the person we'll remember right there. The smile, uh, you know, it makes me want to go back and see every little thing that he's done, right? Like, I, there's a lot that I haven't seen of him do. It's kind of like Heath Ledger. Uh, like, I remember seeing those at King Arthur or whatever. I remember seeing that movie way back. Whatever one it was that he was in. Um... And he just didn't seem like an actor that I would remember. Like, I saw him, and he, I think in that movie he got his ass kicked, and I was just like, oh, okay. And I don't even know if that movie was particularly good at the time. Uh, and then I saw him in, like, you know, Batman, and I'm like, oh, my God, this guy. You know, I went back, and I was like, I remember him in this, these other movies. It, it, Chadwick, it, it's a little different from that, because I was already kind of, you know, I'm already a little older, and... You know, a lot of his movies has come out in, in a prevalent time in my life where I've been watching movies, of course. When, when the uh, King Arthur movie, let's just call it, when that came out, I was really young. Like, incredibly young. And then when, like, The Dark Knight Returns or whatever it was, or The Dark Knight, whatever that movie was, the second one, I was, like, in my teens, like, maybe early 20s or something. And I was like, oh, my God. So in that situation, those things were really cool. But in this situation, like, I've been around since he's been pretty much making movies. He's only a, a, um, a decade-ish older than me, maybe not even that. And so, yeah, it's just one of those things where, like, I didn't get to see a whole lot of what he was in. He was just in some movies that, at the time, I wasn't really something I was interested in. Like, I wanted something maybe on the Jason Bourne side or the just action or, or maybe methodical thrill or whatever it was, you know, I wasn't in the, I've never seen straight up. I've never seen 42. It was a movie at the, at the point in time when it came out, I was, there was a lot more financial problems in my life. Uh, seeing a movie was not on the top thousand things for me to do. And I just haven't gone back and seen it, but this is like, you want to go see the, um, um, the filmography or whatever you want to call it of, of this actor and see everything that he's done and, and just remember him. For me, it, it's it's definitely like, I don't think I was ever like an ungodly huge fan of Chadwick, right? Like he, he did good stuff and he was a cool guy. 
Um, I think for me it's a lot easier to handle because, like, I didn't see every movie he was in. You know, I'm going to go back and see these movies now going, man, it's it's sad that he's gone. And maybe I wasn't a huge fan uh, at the time when he was alive, but, like, I know all the movies he was in, and I'm going to go back and actually pay, uh, take the time to watch him and go, I understand what the, the hype was about him, right? Like, I, I didn't get it maybe, you know, eight years ago when he started doing his thing, um, when he was really blowing up, because at the time that was just a different time in my life. Um, and I was just, you know, I was going to see the movies that I could afford to see in the moment. You get to pick one, right? It's like when you're a kid. If you if you have, like, problems in your personal life, financial, otherwise, it's like, yeah, you get one movie a year. Is it going to be with a guy that I don't really know all that well being in a movie about a sport that I don't like? Um, I've never liked baseball. Uh, as, like, a, you know, but watching something about it is a little different. You know, am I going to go see some movie with a guy I don't know and a sport I don't care about about a player that I know and recognize and, and he was a, an incredible uh, uh, athlete, but, yeah. Or am I going to go see, like, the first Avengers movie, you know, in 2012 or whatever? It's like, yeah, I'm going to go see, you know, the Avengers movie or the, the Bourne movie that came out or the X-Men movie that came out. I'm going to see something I know, right? So now that I have the ability, of course I'm going to go back and check out everything he's done and it's just going to be one of those... I'm only bringing it up because it's going to be one of those things... It's happened before. After I didn't know very well or, or watch a lot of his stuff, passes away. I go back and see some of his older stuff, and I'm like, oh, man. It's really unfortunate that I missed you know, the train on this guy or girl you know, and, and didn't get a chance to kind of be a part of the hype when it was big. you know. And now that he's gone, I get to you know, kind of experience it in, in this post world without the actor or actress kind of way it's always kind of just very surreal and kind of i don't know it's just it's a different experience um you know so yeah um it, it's unfortunate that we had to lose somebody but uh honestly if i was gonna if i was gonna like just take all the tact away from any statement i could make you know and just kind of be brutally honest and and, and kind of try to say hey really think about what I'm saying before you get angry um, a disease something that you can't control something that's unfortunate and stuff I'd rather if we had to lose a, a great person like this God forbid it was a car accident right like God forbid it was some kind of thing with a with a with an officer or a weapon or a mugging or a robbery gone wrong it, it was a disease um something that is nigh uncurable something that is its own juggernaut um i think this uh, it's weird to say that i'm that if he had to go you know it wasn't to something just by another person you, you know what i mean um, an actor lost too soon because somebody ran a red light. Like, that's unfortunate, and that is just more tragic, I think, than a disease that we know that is its own powerhouse and we can't hope to defeat it, uh, except for rare circumstances. So, I, I know that seems like a very weird thing to say, but I mean, uh, human error causes another life to be lost. That, for me, is just the worst. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I live in Arizona. Drinking and driving here is very serious. And there's all, we always see those kind of stories. And it's always tragic to see that. And it's like, because it could have been prevented. And that's the thing. It could have been prevented if, if you know, Ozzy Osbourne was paying more attention and uh, River Phoenix, you know, hadn't been in the car, let's say. I know this is kind of a dated one, but. And then they get in a car accident and River Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix's younger brother, I believe at the time, or was he older at the time? I don't actually know. Might have been older. I think he was older at the time. Uh, dies, right? And he was like, he was the good actor. You know, he was he was the one that was going to be the Brad Pitt. Uh, you know, he was the, the heartthrob. And it was so sad to see that he, he died to a car accident, to stupidity, really. And to know that he probably fought the best he could um, and had all the time in the world to say goodbye to his friends and family um, compared to some quick random act that took him from us. Um, I, I think that the, if there is a silver lining, I just I think of it that way. You know, that it didn't have to be 
some some thoughtless individual doing something bad or having a lapse in judgment. Um, again, I know that's kind of like a hard way of looking at things for some people, but uh, we see a lot of accidents take people, whether it's friends, family. My friend's father died to a drunk driver. Um, you know, or, or, you know, even, I mean, we, we can laugh at it, but Kim Kardashian, you know, she got robbed in, like, Paris, and they could easily, if that was somebody, you know, looking to do harm, she could be dead, whether you're a fan of her or not. That's not the point. There's people that drove across the country to, to do some horrible, mut to mutilate Justin Bieber, you know? And the only reason why they got caught is because they took a wrong turn that put them to the border of Canada because they were idiots. But God forbid they actually got to them and did something horrible to them, right? It's those little chance fates that, that can take, you know, a, a celebrity, somebody that the people in the world really admire or love for whatever reason and then something could just take them from us look at the Beatles you know you can look at a lot of uh, things like that so those are always I think really bad but in this situation I'm like well look at this guy he he had cancer at this point in his life he knew he did I believe um, while he was doing the uh, Avengers movies and Black Panther you know and he, he fought and he lived his life and he loved his life and he made incredible movies and you know it's just I guess how things play out it's unfortunate and I'm gonna stop rambling there thanks for watching thanks for hanging out if you like the video like the content you can just like subscribe and share remember it's completely up to you I do appreciate it though and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next um, hopefully it'll be a little bit more upbeat than uh, than this thanks for watching again guys